Welcome back to the Social Work Race. Yeah, we've got an interesting topic. I, I got hold of this topic from a conversation I just had with my wife just shortly ago. And I'm like, no, we're doing that right now. So look, let's check this out. Welcome back. Please share, please subscribe. You know this is the platform for you if you are, especially if you're a social work student or um, ASY or newly qualified, this is the platform for you. We've got a lot of content on this show um, and we've got quite a lot of um, episodes on all the major <clears throat> podcasting platforms. Get to it. Let me know your thoughts on it, you know. Interesting. This one came to me and it was said to me a little while ago and, I, and then my wife brought it up a little while ago to say, hold on a minute. Men and women, male and female social workers, write differently. Yeah, this is interesting. And I've heard, um, let me give you an example. I've heard um, a, a number of uh, female managers say, so-and-so, which is another female worker, writes really well. Like, they've got great assessments. Now, understand, it's just the assessment in terms of the written work. It's not necessarily representative of the work done with the family, but... And it's nothing against the managers that said it, but they mentioned it. And so it made me think, hold on a minute, um, how do I write? Because I know how I think and I know how I speak. And so how I think and speak was going to be represented in how I write. And so when I first came into social work, I was like, I need to up my writing game. Um, they're not going to be short on facts. They're not going to be short on information. <clears throat> but the way that I write is short. You'll understand more about what I'm saying in a moment, okay? Um, so, so bear in mind that statistically and I've got a number of statistics here um, male to female management in social work social work is approximately actually anyway flat out about 77% roughly female to male so there's more females in social work and social work would love a lot of more men in the game but also although we've got a lot more men in uh, pound for pound in, in, in management it's still about 61%-ish. I'm looking at some figures here. So men um, are more management level. Saying that, we're just looking at the managers who will typically be marking or reading, uh, say marking like it's an assessment. Mar um, we'll, we'll be QA in your assessments, okay? And the vast majority are going to be female managers who were going to, and this is it, this is interesting because... If men and women write differently, then the way that an assessment can be perceived needs to be brought into question, right? So let's check it out. And I've done some research here. I've got access to a lot of, if you want some of the information, let me know, I can send it to you. But I've got, inform, um, these are from different studies, okay? Um, each point I make is from a different study, looking at how men and women um, communicate differently in written language, all right? One study, in the language of blogs, yeah? Researchers found differences between male and female bloggers, interestingly. Women's writing is not an obvious candidate for criticism, but there is a long tradition of criticism which focuses on the way that women write. Women tend to use more pronouns, adjectives, and intensifiers, while men use more articles, prepositions, and quantifiers. We tend to be a bit, men tend to be a bit more facts driven or are specifics driven whereas women tend to be more expressive and elaborate in their language um, descriptive a little bit more descriptive it says here women tend to write more about relationships and emotions while men tend to write more about things and actions this can get interesting right that means that when I'm writing these assessments, the map, oh, let, me, let me be patient. Okay, look. Um, women tend to use more complex sentence structures, while men tend to use shorter sentences. So if there's any of you students out there who are thinking, oh, you know, my writing is not so great. I mean, even, even you might be thinking like, I'm, I'm not so elaborate and expressive. That's partly because of your wiring, your biology, okay? And now you can learn to do that a bit more, but we have to ask a lot of questions here. Let's read one more fact. Um, women tend to use more words related to sadness, anxiety, and anger, while men tend to use more words related to achievement, power, and sex. Okay, 
writing. Now, this is generally in their writing style. So it's not about us. Um, you see, this, this is a challenge because then you have to say to yourself, well, actually, all the managers in my office, for example, this is just, in a sense, hypothetically speaking, uh, more managers in my office are women. So they're going to have an expectation. I can suppose this, right? Women are going to have an expectation of what an assessment looks like. Whereas if it was, let's say, vastly male, they're just going to want the basic information. And was it articulated well enough? Did you capture the facts? What the figures, you know? Was anybody hurt? Yes or no? And it's interesting because I, I, I speak to parents and not, a lot of the time it's mostly women that I end up speaking to because they tend to have the children in their custody. And the women tend to want to express a lot of feeling and um, want the time to express themselves. Whereas the men are very, when I speak to the parents, that's they like more um, as a matter of fact. And then what I tend to do is I tend to say, okay, was anybody hurt? Tell me about this. I want yes and no kind of answers to establish facts about the whereas the women might tend to get into how's it made you feel what are you going through so you understand this is something i'm seeing it's nothing you know if you reflect on it you can probably see it as well this is not rocket science here i'm not making anything up these are studies and i'm just relating to the studies and i'm like oh i get it i get it and so that asks the question do the managers have an awareness of this now i'm not criticizing managers at all actually it's just something to reflect on and it would be really good for group supervision for social workers and managers to talk about the way that they write and if there are any men because I think uh, I think I'm the only male in my team and so my writing style might be different you know um, but I, there are other factors such as first and second language culture these will play a role in how people write but this is the more the fundamental biological understanding of the topic and it needs a lot more discussion because in my opinion if you're a manager if I can give you any advice it would be to just learn and grow not only for a manager but for social workers we need to learn and grow I can learn something from the way women write to capture more feeling and emotion and to be probably a bit more ex be a bit more expressive in my assessment um, writing um, because it means something right feelings do mean something um, whereas the women could learn more about capturing more factual information. Now, I'm sure some of you out there thinking, actually, I do pretty well. Actually, just talk about it because everybody, if there's one thing that social workers will tell you, we've all got something to learn. All we need to do is learn and grow and be aware. Hopefully that helped. Please share. Please subscribe.